Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Rupali and today we will learn about Java keywords. So let's get started. So what are keywords? So keywords are basically those words which are predefined in Java library and has some special meaning. For example, these are the list of keywords int. This is reserved to define integer type of variable. So whenever you will write int int xyz or any variable name, it will define that variable as an integer type. So in Java, we have total 50 keywords and three reserve words. Okay. Now, what is the difference between keywords and reserve words? So keywords are those words which are predefined but also have some meaningful functionality. Where reserve words are those which are predefined in Java but do not have any specific functionality. For example, true, false and null. Now they have a special meaning. Whenever you compare two values using the Java operators, they will return you either true false or null so they will tell you that the values you are comparing are equal or not but they do not have any specific functionality they will not do anything um, other than that so th that's why they are reserved now talking about the keywords we are having total 48 used keywords and two unused keywords now as the name says the unused keywords are not used in java so the unused keywords are go to and constant and the reason why they are not used in Java is the go to is a jump statement. Okay. And whenever the control flow encounters a go to statement, it transfers the control to other part of a program. Now, suppose you have a more than 100 line of codes in your program and everywhere you have written a uh, go to this go to line number go to another literal okay wherever you want to uh, jump your control to now imagine how difficult it will be for you to process like where the control will be flowing like to track where the control is flowing so it creates a confusion to developers and that's why go to keyword is not used in java now constant the const this is used to define constant in C and C++ language. But in Java, we do not use this keyword. We use final. So final is used to define a constant value. Using go to and constant in Java is considered as a poor form of programming practice. That's why these are not used at all. Now, let's talk about the used keywords. So there are total 48 keywords which are used. Now, one thing to keep in mind is all the keywords are in lowercase okay and you know that java is a case sensitive language so a lowercase int and a uppercase int will be treated differently if you'll uh, write by, by mistake you write any of the character of the keyword in caps it will not be considered as a keyword in java then okay so make sure you use keywords in the lowercase characters only so broadly the used keywords are categorized into the below seven categories primitive data type control keywords, access specifiers, exception handling, class related concepts, object related concepts and return type. I have a separate video on what primitive data types, control flows and access specifiers and everything is but let's go brief about what they are. What are primitive data types? So primitive data type specifies the type and size of a variable. What is variable? So variable is that value in the program that keeps on changing during execution time. So whenever we define a variable, we have to declare it with any of these data types. Now you can see that integer float double byte long and short. These are uh, to define the numeric values and character and boolean. These are to define a string type value. For example, if we want to write my name like Rupali, so I can define it in as character or boolean and if i want to uh, enter some numeric value like one two three four or anything then i will define it in any of these primitive data types now what are control keywords so control keywords are used to write the conditional statements and they decide the flow of control in our program okay the, how control flows from one part of the program to another part of the program is what this control keyword does now here if else for do while so these are the conditional uh, statements which decides like they check some condition and accordingly they decide whether the uh, line of code will execute or not okay and um, this break continue return these are the jump statements and are used to transfer the control flow to another part of the program we have a different video all together on the control keyword so you can go and watch that now access specifiers they define the scope of our method variables or classes that is 
how and where they can be accessed okay suppose i have created one class and another class wants to access the variables and the methods of that class so the access specifies decides that whether that class will be able to access it or not and if it is able to access it then how like publicly in a private way or protected so all these keywords define the scope of the uh, variable or the methods now what is exception handling? So exception handling is really a very important topic in Java. If an exception occurs in your program, we need to handle it so that it does not disrupt the normal flow of our program. Okay, so exception handling can be uh, done in any of these ways. Like we can use the try catch block or we can uh, use the throw and throws keyword or finally an assert statements. So these are all the means to handle the exception. Now, class related and object related concepts. So these class and object related keywords are used to implement the concept of object oriented programming. We will learn about it in the later tutorials because object oriented programming is really very important. It is the basic of the Java. So I have all together a different um, video on that. Now return type keyword, it tells that what type of data your method will be returning. For example, if you have, um, if you know about the main method, okay, it has public static void main. So that means that void is a return type. It, it tells that this main method will not be returning any value. Okay, so that's it guys. These are the 48 used keywords in Java that you should know. Um, if you like my video don't forget to press the like button do subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know in the comment section below if you like my video or if you have any suggestions for me thank you